carving. I'm really happy uh, with how this uh, oversized bowl tray uh, dish turned out. Uh, it's actually my second power carving project. Uh, it's a cool layered effect. So you got um, a couple different species in here and then on the bottom I went with a, a bevel. Uh, just on the table saw, got some, some chamfer look, a little modern look. Quilted maple, gorgeous stuff. Um, and then uh, carved out the interior. So for the whole project, uh, I used the Arbortech uh, turbo plane. So Arbortech, they've the, the first ones to make a disc back in the 80s. Um, amazing engineering, safety features, all that good stuff. There's some pretty sketchy discs out there, but um, just kind of carve it out. It just attaches to an angle grinder and uh, you just go to town, you have fun with it. And so um, I also use their contour sander to kind of refine the look a little bit, um, but you know, you can pull off the whole project with just, uh, just the turbo plane. So anyway, uh, video hopefully gives you some inspiration if you're trying to pull off this look, maybe some tips um, as, you know, power carving. Enjoy. All right, so go ahead and pick your species. I went with some quilted maple, some cherry and some walnut. Um, lots of glue, a little table salt, uh, just to keep it from moving around, and then clamp it up. Uh, make sure you have plenty of clamps. Uh, make sure you have a good squeeze out. You don't wanna have any gaps. That's gonna really stand out uh, with the layers, especially with this kind of power carve piece. So uh, get your blank uh, really, really tight. I'd recommend maybe an eight inch wide. Mine was six inch. Uh, if you do eight inch, you'll have a little bit more room. Uh, but as you can see here, uh, I still have plenty of room uh, using that the turbo plane by Arbortech. Um, so I have a good clamping setup. I'm using the uh, Armor Tool Bench and their, their inline clamps worked like a dream. Um, the thing did not move around at all and I could just uh, go to town and just carve away. Um, if this is your first project, maybe do some practice on some other stock first. Uh, again, this is my second project. I got a better feel for it. Um, throughout the whole uh, process, you'll start refining it. It's going to look a little rough at first, uh, but you can start really, you know, removing any burn lines or, or whatever, uh, those awkward angles. You know, you can see I jumped up a bit, but again, you have plenty of time and opportunity to refine that throughout the process, so don't be dismayed and feel like you ruined a project. Um, so anyway, just kind of carving out, getting that general shape. Uh, it's just fun, uh, kind of, you know, to play with, uh, you know, how, how deep you want to go. All right, so I wanted to do a, a chamfer look on the bottom, so I just did a 45 degree bevel on the table saw and, um, you know, just used the fence for the rip cut and then a cross cut sled uh, with a 45 degree uh, inset. Wasn't quite deep enough, so popped it off, miter gauge, uh, finish it off, but that's how I got the, the 45 degree angle. I think it turned out rather nice. Uh, here I'm using the Contour Sander by Arbortech. So this is an awesome flexible pad. Uh, you can work up through all the different grits. This really helps refine uh, the look, you know, have that balance between really rustic or, or super refined. Um, and here just using the random orbital just to clean up the layers uh, from the bevel and uh, just again, get that, that look where, where I wanted to go. But again, good clamping setup does wonders uh, here. You are gonna obviously have lots of hand sanding, um, you know, to really just get, again, get it right where you want it to be. So just, you know, knocking off those corners. Um, and here I'm gonna raise the grain. So this is gonna be a, uh, a bowl that uses, uh, that comes in contact with food. And after you wash it, the surface will get really rough if you don't do this step. So just lightly spray some water, uh, let it dry, and then continue sanding. So this raises the grain, really important. Um, so here, again, I'm sanding some more with the contour sander. Here I'm using the finer grits. Uh, you don't want to go too deep again or you're going to have to keep raising the grain. Uh, but you can really get that look you want. Um, lots of sanding. And boom! Time for finish. So um, I'm going with the food safe finish. This is uh, Walrus Oil's cutting board oil. Uh, so it's mineral oil and some, uh, some beeswax mixed in. Uh, you're going to need to do a lot of coats, uh, multiple coats of this. Sometimes I'll just do a whole uh, vat of mineral oil, but uh, you just want it to fully penetrate the wood. Uh, but you can see that color and that grain, that figure come to life. It's always the best part. So uh, mineral oil, really all you need is just um, some mineral oil, some food safe finish, and um, and beautiful. And then uh, after it dries, add some wax. So this is uh, just a homemade blend, but you can use, you know, our soil, uh, their board wax works great too. Buff it in and hello, figure. Looks gorgeous. So um, there you have it. Uh, made the whole thing, you know, you just with the Arbortech turbo plane, just carving it out. Uh, that contour sander is really helpful, so I do recommend that. 
but i um, really happy with this look and I explore more of these different layer projects and uh, just unlock all the beauty. So anyway, power carving, do it. It's fun. Be inspired. Make something. Thanks, guys.